Today I'm going to show you some advice on how to continue the corkscrew stitch. The corkscrew stitch is a spiral stitch. It means that every stitch is going to be turned in a certain angle. So it's, it's formed like a spiral thingy. And it's a 3 by one stitch. So you have three strings on this side, three strings on this side, one string on this side, and one string on this side. Now it's not going to be in my formal tutorial of a corkscrew stitch because there are two possible ways to have a 3 by one stitch. One is like this, that this brown is on the right, this brown is on the left, and one is in the opposite directions, the mural stitch of it, so this one is on the left, it's on the right, the opposite um, stitch. So what I'll show you today is going to show you uh, this kind of stitch, so this brown will be on the right, this brown will be on the left, like this one. And not not going to show this one, because we have, um, we want to make it short, this tutorial. But if you want, if you have this one, what you can do is you can make a super brick stitch on this one, and then it will turn out on this one and then you can continue the video and also of course I'll put some links down below on some more about the corkscrew stitch if you haven't already understood how to make it and let's begin so as I said earlier I'm going to show you how to make the corkscrew stitch on this, this stitch that the, um, this um, brown string is going to point towards me and it's going to be on the right and the one that's point away from me going to be on the left. And like we've done with a uh, super brick stitch, we need to find first the main strings. So again, what's the main strings? Are the strings that are going to be woven, and then all the rest of the strings will be woven afterwards. So like for, for example, on the super brick, we did this one, and then this one. So these two browns will be the main strings, and then all the other colors will be weaving uh, uh, over under on these brown strings. Okay, so how? So what's the main strings for the corkscrew stitch? It's going to be the same as the super brick stitch, and it will be the two browns. So on the corkscrew stitch, instead of facing this brown in between this green and this brown, we want to um, cross it over this brown. So we want to have it over here. So in between this brown and this green. And then we want to take the second brown and go parallel to this brown. So not like we've done the corkscrew stitch uh, and the super stitch not going over here, but we want to go parallel to this, to the first brown. So over here. So you can see if, if for example, I will start with this brown, so not over here, because over here is going to be the um, super brick stitch, and be, because this string is, if you go for, um, follow this, this string, You'll see that this loop is this, this string, and then this loop is in between this blue and brown. So not over here in between this blue and brown, but crossing the, the, the brown, and you want to have it in between the brown and the other blue. So we want to have it like that. So we hope that you understood. And now I want to find the string that will be weaven on the side that is closer to me, on this side, because I am over here. So I want to weave now out of these six strings, I need to find the string that will be over here. And what you want, so on the right side, we need to find first the string that is closest to me. So it's going to be this green, and the same thing on the left side. It's going to be also this green, because it's closer to me, of course. So it's either this green or this green that will be on this edge. So how do I know? 
uh, with string. So let's let's check. So I'll take this one first because it's it's going to be the um, solution. It's going to be this one, and I'll show you why. Again, the same thing with, like we've done with uh, super super break stitch. So if you can see you can see if if I'm holding this brown string, I can never um, take the take um, this green string off the um, brown strings. Like the brown strings are holding this green string, and it can never um, go um, away. It can, it can never escape the brown strings. So it's going to be this this green string. And let's say if, for example, okay, so maybe you chose this green string, and I'll show you why why it's not going to be good. So let's, for example, so weaving again, weaving a string is always over under. So um, this string is going to be first over this brown and under this brown. So you're going like that over under. Okay, so now if, for example, you're holding this brown string, like I've done with uh, Evergreen, just holding this brown string. And what you'll do is, it, you can see that, boom, it fell off. It can escape the brown strings. The brown string cannot lock this green, st green string. Let's do it again. Over under. And if I holding only this brown string, like I've done with uh, Evergreen, it will fall off. So it's not going to be the green, it's going uh, this green, the, the left green, it's going to be the right green. So let's weave this again. We'll see again how I did it. Okay, so you're holding this brown, and you can see it can never go off. And that's good. So it's going to be this, this green is going to be the edge that is closest to me. And now, because I weave in, I weave, weave in um, on this side and the right side, I'm going to continue by weaving on the left side. So, the left side again, and just to choose the um, string that is closer to me. Again, it's going to be the green, obviously. And also, um, always keep the browns in order. And I'm going to weave again over and under. And you can see we form a box stitch. And because we form a box stitch, now we can do whatever we want. We can move it and it will always stay because a box stitch is a stitch. And because it's a stitch, the strings will be hard to uh, separate them. Like you can do, you can separate it like that, but if you go, if he goes here, he's locked. 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 So you don't need to hold the strings now too much because you can, you can hold only the other four strings that you haven't weaved. Okay, so now I want to continue um, by making the same rule. So we've done on this side and this side, and then we we'll continue by this side. So what's the other string that is closest to me on out of these two strings? To be the orange, of course. So we're going to weave the orange over this brown and under this brown. And now we want to keep in mind that it will, can fall off. So we need to hold the um, orange string so that it won't come off. Because you can see it's going to... Uh, you see it can fall if you won't hold it. So but if, if with practice you can, you'll understand um, much easier after you can practice the holding strings um, to be e easier to you. And we want, okay, so we've done now, we, we've done this one, and right, left, right, and then um, fourth, going to be the left. So, again, a string that is closest to me, so it's going to be this orange, and over, under, again. And now, if you want, you can keep the same order, so we've done left, from the left side, this string, and then we're going to, we can continue by on on the right side. So we we finally uh, have only one string. So you can weave this one, and then last this one, 
it's possible. It's not it's not not possible. Like you can do it. You can go over under. So over this brown and under this brown. Like that. But uh, sometimes it's pre pretty hard to f to hold this blue string because it can it can fall easily. You can see if I don't do nothing, if I do something, I move the strings, it will fall because it's not locked into the stitch. So what you can do is instead of this blue, you can start and can continue by this blue, the other blue string, and when weaving over over this brown and under this this brown, like we don't always over under. If we do that, and now what you, what you can have is it's a sort of stitch that this blue cannot escape. You can see um, it's like we've done with uh, this green string. It's, this blue is going to be at the edge here and it and it will hard to escape the string. It will be hard to to escape. So you can do whatever you want and to to not um, escape. Okay, so now we ha have left uh, the last blue string, and of course you need to keep this string in between this blue and this orange. You have to do it. So not not like that because it's not going to be in, in between the blue and the orange, and not like that. You have to do it in between this blue and this orange. Like that, okay? So again, not like that. It's really important. So not like that and not like that, or I don't know. You need to have it always in between orange here and blue here, because blue is always at the end here, at this border. So in between this blue and this orange. And then you want to uh, weave over this brown and under this brown and again in between this blue and this orange. So not in between the blue and the brown and not like that and of course not like that for example but in between this orange and this blue and over under the brown strings like that and pulling the string. Now what you do to do last is to pull the strings. So for example you can pull strings like um, four strings over here, four strings over here and pulling and then like for example pull of, um, six strings here and again you can do the same thing and that's it. So you, can ha you have a corkscrew stitch you can see now it's going to be bent, so afterwards it will be like a spiral uh, thingy. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.